Hi everyone, my name is Diran Yu, a PhD student from Bartek School of Sustainable Construction, UCL. And today I will give a presentation of a review work named the Applications of Immersive Technology in Construction Computing. And this work was done by both Bartek School and the College of Civil Engineering and Architecture, Georgia University. So to be, begin with, I will give an outline of our pre today. Uh, first, I will give a background of introduction of different immersive technologies and their adoptions in the construction, and next, the motivation. After that, I will show our methodology of the review, include the systematic review and narrative review, and show the result and discussion in the end the conclusion. So in the background part, uh, we find that there are two main uh, immersive technology used nowadays, which are augmented reality and virtual reality. Uh, AR was utilized to overlay uh, digital information on the physical environments, enhancing the understanding of uh, complex structures. And we are on the hard, hard hand allows for complete uh, immersion within virtual constructs, providing a platform for source rule review and planning with all the constructs of physical models. And they are both uh, adopted in the entertainment and, and the anime uh, in the last century, and uh, in the 21st century, they are more adopted in the engineer uh, uh, field, uh, such as the construction. Uh, for example, the architecture design, the building modeling, are the two main aspects of the adoption in the construction. The architects and engineers can use the VR or AR tools to adjust the model in the real time, and they also can get the information feedback uh, straightly. And also, this immersive technology can be used in the construction education, some uh, safety training, and on-site management. So after we uh, review some uh, background information, we move to motivation part, we find that there are some challenges in the implementation, <coughs> implementation of this immersive technology used in, uh, in the construction. Uh, the first is the technical limitations, and second, the industrial adoption barriers. So uh, we, we are, in, uh, we are we'd like to uh, figure out the current state and potential of this, and uh, find the gaps between the technology development and the applications uh, used in construction. So the aim of our review is to uh, make clear the applications of AR and VR technologies used in the construction computing. To achieve this, we decided, divided uh, separate three objectives. The first is to categorize the applications of these different, uh, different technologies and second, to identify their challenges and limitations when they are using in the uh, construction, and in the end, to determine the future directions. So to achieve this, we use Prisma, uh, also known as systematic literature review, to ensure the transparency and standardization of the review process, and also we use the narrative review to provide more comprehensive background information and deeper analysis. So at first, the Prisma, we do uh, uh, steps of a uh, systematic review shown in the figure two. Uh, we uh, first step choose the Scopus and Web of Science as our database because they are the two biggest uh, database of academic uh, publications. And uh, we also set our research string in the keywords such as immersive technologies, VR, AR, construction computing, construction management, modeling, and uh, architectural de design, etc. And we also establish our inclusion and exclusion criteria to ensure that we collect the high quality, high recognition, accessibility of the articles. Uh, First, to uh, the duration of our articles is the uh, past five years to uh, ensure their the newest uh, development of uh, of technologies, and second, the citations should be more than one to ensure they are, have a high recognition, and third, is journal impact factor should uh, should more than three because uh, in the GCR QR uh, Q uh, in the GCR uh, when the impact factor in the construction field uh, more than three, this means that the resource of the journal is in the uh, top uh, five, fifty percent. And the third, uh, and fourth, the English language and have abstract. This will contribute to the last step uh, when we are uh, when we read all of the 
uh, articles as abstract, we uh, make sure that the articles we select is high relevant to the topic. Uh, so after the Prisma, we selected 24 articles from 511. And after the uh, in, uh, Prisma selection, we do a voice viewer to get some initial analysis. Uh, as you can see in the Fig 3, there are three clusters. Uh, first, the student and training is indicated that uh, the immersive technology nowadays used uh, more uh, adopted in the education phase, such as the construction training and safety training. And also in the, uh, in the right cluster, there has a questionnaire experiment. There shows the different methodologies that uh, the, the, this kind of uh, uh, research use. And also uh, the blue cluster shows the reliability and performance. Uh, that's in, uh, that may uh, indicate that there are more uh, research to uh, focus on the performance, to, to focus on the effectiveness of this uh, act, uh, technology used in the actual construction. And also we do the timeline of voiceover visualization, uh, such as the figures, figure six. Uh, if we focus on AR, we can get that uh, uh, there are four newer uh, keywords appearance nowadays. Uh, the effectiveness uh, implementation, construction side, and experiment in the yellow color, uh, which uh, we have a our guess that uh, uh, the actual applications of these immersive te technologies are more uh, attract uh, researchers' attention, and the, the, their usage in the real site may uh, uh, is the next direction. And also, we find that there are some uh, articles or research uh, uh, using living lab to hire operator and uh, workers in the construction to get the more actual data. So after the initial analysis, we get the result and discussion part. Uh, in the table one, part one, the analysis result in this table, table we uh, get the current development of uh, this field. Uh, the first is the main part, the immersive technology applications. Uh, there are, they are used in the education, education and training, uh, which uh, simulate realistic uh, environments, uh, reducing physical risk and improving learning retention. And second is exterior uh, construction, which uh, there are some uh, digital models on physical spaces is in pre-construction, visualization and the design verification, reducing the errors and delays. And also the operation maintenance phase and the safety training. Uh, there are some real-time visualization of the machinery provides controlled environments for safety training. And as I will also find some uh, breakthrough cases uh, about the robot uh, integrated with VR. There are, for example, the first one, the VR training to construction robot to increase the precision and efficiency, and the second, the VR re re remote control robot to improve the safety and the task precision by reducing on-site human. So after the development, uh, we find some tech, uh, technological challenges uh, as shown in the Table one, part two, uh, there are visual uh, challenges, precision challenges, and human experience challenges. In the visual challenges, the uh, 360 degree panoramas have limited quality, which will impact the user experience and realism. And uh, we also find there are uh, high latency and slow rendering problems, which will influence the effectiveness of training and operational simulation in VR environments. And the precision challenge, there are three main accuracy problems. Uh, first, the positioning uh, accuracy and the location tracking accuracy and image recognition and collection accuracy. Uh, this uh, spatial accuracy is crucial in the construction applications. And in the uh, third part, the human experience, uh, the, using the headset, there are uh, lack of uh, comfort and uh, the human may, may feel some uh, safety and reliability problems. Uh, which uh, human-centric concern should be uh, addressed for technological adop adoptions. So after the challenges we found, we give our uh, future de development recommend recommendations. Uh, they are uh, divided in two parts. The first is technological developments, uh, which uh, optimize the algorithm 
uh, to increase some accuracy and uh, the customer specific reality system and uh, the AR should be extended to other procedure. Uh, the first one uh, to enhance the performance, streamlining data processing, saving re reducing times, and providing accurate simulation. The specific mixed reality system uh, for the uh, for the customers, which will uh, give a, uh, which will uh, meet the, the specific client needs, seeing uh, integrating with projects and adapting to varying complexities. And also, the VR should be uh, integrated to other procedures, such as the uh, integrated with a digital twin model uh, to get real-time project monitoring, on-site worker assistant, IoT, or something else uh, technology to integrate. And uh, in, the other, uh, under, in the other part, the ecosystem development uh, should also be concerned. The first uh, is recommend that the government should make policy and compulsory to encourage AR and VR use, ensure data privacy, and promote safety standards. And second, uh, we should hire more uh, workers and operators in the real actual construction uh, to join our experiment to get more uh, actual data to ensure the system are user-friendly, meet practical needs, and are effectively adopted in construction practices. So, uh, came to the conclusion of our uh, review. Uh, we, we first uh, review, uh, we could first get some uh, uh, potential use, uh, transformative potential of AR and VR, uh, such as safety training and operation efficiency. And after that, we find some uh, challenges, uh, such as human experience, uh, because of the technology limitation, technology reliability, and uh, a customer specific system. And we give our recommend recommendation in two parts. The first is the hardware and an algorithm, some software improvement. And the, sec uh, the second is the government and the industry uh, to, uh, to establish some standards and policy and enhance the living data integration by hiring the uh, actual workers. And also our research has some limitations uh, at first, uh, the article's numbers is uh, only 24, and uh, it is it may be possible that some uh, of the papers which are excluded is valid. Uh, and the second limitation is the time duration is the past of five years, uh, and uh, maybe uh, if we uh, extend the duration to 10 or uh, 20 years, we get more papers. Uh, and the last one is that keep uh, mixed reality and not concern in this work because the technology development and the technology maturity. So here is the key reference we used and uh, thank you everyone. Uh, welcome any questions.